How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome to another review. And as you can see today, we have upgraded Douglas Costa for Bayern Munich this year. He's been a shining light. So good for their team. His skills in game, outrageous. He's got the five star skills on this. Three star week for medium to low work rates. His base card stats 83 overall, plus two. Pace plus one. Shooting plus two. Passing plus one. Dribbling and defending stay the same. 64 physical plus one. So he is looking good in terms of base card stats. If you do want any cheap MSP, PSN, head over to G2A.com. Use that code M89. Get yourself a discount. Every single link you'll need right there in the description below. I do believe on the Xbox, he's selling for around 60k at this moment in time. On the PlayStation, 20k. More than that. So roughly 80,000 coins. In-game stats, 80 positioning, 95 Bloody acceleration with 87 speed speed is rapid skill attributes, 86 ball control, 82 curve, 86 dribbling, 73 finishing, not the greatest in the world, but in game, it doesn't seem to matter, shot power as well, 83, he's got a powerful left foot on him, what I like doing with this card, was dribbling, dribble, 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 same as Neymar, go on the run, use his 5 star skills, take, try, well try, and take the pace out of your opponents, if you're composed, in the area on this game, you don't snap at your shots, you will love Douglas Costa because he can do stuff like that. That was beautiful, taking it past numerous opponents, and uh, yeah, he could have went right, he could have went left, I always kind of cater to the left with Douglas Costa because that's stronger left foot, and he can do stuff like that. If you don't like your dribbles on this game, you're not too composed, you're not too kind of sure of yourself in terms of dribbling, take the long shot with Douglas Costa, I took forward him, Two sealed right into the top corner. That is how accurate this guy is from range. You might have been thinking that's a one-off. No, lads. This is beautiful. Nice piece of skill out wide. Cuts inside. Then unleashes a rifle past Hugo Lloris, I do believe. That was in a net. So damn good again from Douglas Costa. So looking at his pros. Five-star skills. This guy is a very tricky customer. One of the most tricky right-wingers. On this game, you've got Messi, you've got Robin, you've got Bale. This guy is up there with the best of them because he's so damn tricky. Look at this, how composed he is in the area. Taking on players and just smashing it into the back of the net. That's what I love doing on this game. And with Douglas Costa, I just love doing it. Now, on this game, dribbling isn't all like the be all and end all. It's whether you're composed in the area or not. Lads, just walk in the area. Sometimes the opposition defenders, they don't know what to do. They just stand, they watch, they wait for the shot, they try and block it. But if you're composed, you walk to the side, you can tie it past the goalkeeper. It's so easy to do, lads. Really, really easy to do. Pace-wise, sensational. You've seen his acceleration. It's instant. He hits that top speed so damn fast. And that burst of acceleration takes him past fullbacks on this game. His movement's very good. He drops deep when you want him to drop deep. On the ball, he drops deep when you want him to drop deep. Like I did say, he attacks when you want him to attack. He cuts in behind. Instructions, they're not too important with this guy. Really, really not too important with Douglas Costa. And long shots. You've seen it already from range. He is very, very bloody clinical. In terms of cons, we have weak foot simply because he doesn't like using that right foot. Even in areas where you've seen in a previous clip where I had the chance to shoot with his right foot, he just doesn't take it, lads. He just doesn't take it. He elects to take it with his left foot. And it did get on my nerves every now and then. So this card is going to get a rating of a 9.6. And a value of coins of a 9.8. Well, well worth the pickup. And if you're wondering, you've given him the same mark as you did last time. You give him a 9.6 and a 9.8. The exact same as I reviewed him roughly six months ago. This card has improved. It has improved. If I was to re-review his old one, he would have got a 9.3 or something like that. So guys, on this video, smash the hell out of that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you are new around here. And as always, lads, I will catch you all next time.